Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so you won't be left out in any video. ANC veteran Tony Ingeni has come out in defense of former President Thabo Mbeki and Jacob Zuma, who are being rebuked for criticizing Cyril Ramaphosa's administration. Ingeni said there is nothing untoward about Mbeki and Zuma criticizing President Cyril Ramaphosa's administration. He said Ramaphosa in fact spent his entire first term talking about Zuma's nine wasted years, as if he was not part of it. Zuma and Mbeki have all the right to criticize Cyril or anyone for that matter. In the last five years Cyril did not mince his words in condemning nine wasted years, and you all kept quiet. Zuma was simply returning the favor, said Tony and Jenny. It seems there is a silent war within the ANC between Ramaphosa's backers and those of former President Jacob Zuma. Many feel Zuma should have raised this issue in proper ANC channels. The RET champion however claims at some point he wrote to President Cyril Ramaphosa, and he did not respond, signifying that it would have been a waste of time to continue waiting to address the issue on ANC platforms. Tony and Jenny is one of the ANC comrades who have been calling for President Cyril Ramaphosa to step down following his Paula Paula scandal. Now that the former ANC presidents have echoed the same sentiments, Yinjeni said there's nothing wrong with criticizing Cyril Ramaphosa or anyone for that matter. Zuma supporters argued that ANC KwaZulu natal provincial leadership make a huge blunder by slamming Zuma after he criticized Ramaphosa. They said the ANC leadership in KwaZulu natal must rectify this mistake. ANC KwaZulu natal made a blunder. They must rectify it because it was very childish and unnecessary to criticize Umshalozi. A man who was criticized by everyone including the current president, he called Zuma years as nine wasted years. But Zuma must not criticize Ramaphosa, they said, again, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister, Nkasa's Anit Lamini Zuma, has hit back at her full finders, who said she sold out individual companions who remained by her during her 2017 official mission. Some RET companions were expressing that after Nkasa's Anit Lamini Zuma was granted with an ecclesiastical post by President Cyril Ramaphosa, she overlooked her different friends, and didn't stand up when they were being approached to move to one side. During the time previous President Jacob Zuma was captured, a few his patrons likewise blamed Nkasa Zanat Lamini Zuma for not standing up, they said she was exceptionally tranquil when she might have taken advantage of her leverage. The ANC heavyweight anyway, said she didn't sell out anybody, and the people who figure she did so, should wonder why previous President Jacob Zuma is presently supporting her for ANC administration in the event that she didn't remain by him. In the event that I hushed up about the capture of friend Jacob Zuma, and didn't uphold him all through this entire period, how could he be supporting me for the ANC administration? The people who say I sold him out, they should pose themselves those inquiries, she said. Nkasa Zanat Lamini Zuma adds that the people who say she hushed up about the cleansing of companion supra, confidant Bathabile Lamini and pro Magashul, should wonder why similar friends are as yet supporting her. I'm a focused individual from the ANC, I raise these issues in the fitting stages, she